are renting from all peoples of the universe. this mass we shall be praying for all your personal intentions in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen, amen. the grace of our lord jesus christ the love of god and the communion of the holy spirit be with you all and with your spirit as we prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries let us first call to mind our sins I confess to, to Almighty God, God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary of a Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. As we venerate the glorious memory of the Most Holy Virgin Mary, grant we pray, O Lord, through her intercession, that we too may merit to receive from the fullness of your grace. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. reading from the book of Job. This was the answer Job gave to the Lord. I know that you are all powerful. What you can conceive, you can perform. I am the man who obscured your designs with my empty-headed words. I have been holding forth on matters I cannot understand, on marvels beyond me and my knowledge. I knew you only by her sin, but now, having seen you with my own eyes, I retract all I have seen in the dust, and in the ashes I repent. The Lord blessed Job's new fortune more than the first one. He came to own 14,000 sheep, 6,000 camels, a thousand yoke of oxen and a thousand she-donkeys. He had seven sons and three daughters. His first daughter he called Turtle Dove, the second Cassia and the third Mascara. Throughout the land there were no women as beautiful as the daughters of Job and their father gave them inheritance rights like their brothers. After his trials, Job lived on until he was a hundred and forty years old and saw his children and his children's children up to the fourth generation. Then Job died an old man and of full days. 
the word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Our response to God's word is, let your face shine on your servant, O Lord. knowledge for I trust your commands it was good for me to be afflicted to learn your statues response let your face shine on your servant O Lord Lord I know that your decrees are right that you afflict me justly by your decree the earth endures to this day for all things serve you. Response. Let your face shine on your servant, O Lord. I am your servant. Make me understand. Then I shall know your will. The unfolding of your word gives light and teaches the simple. Response. Let your face shine on your servant, O Lord. Father, Lord of heaven and earth, for revealing the mysteries of the kingdom to me, your children. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, o Lord. The seventy-two came back rejoicing. Lord, they said, even the devils submit to us when we use your name. And Jesus said to them, I watched Satan fall like lightning from heaven. Yes, I have given you power to tread underfoot serpents and scorpions and the whole strength of the enemy. Nothing shall ever hurt you. Yet do not rejoice that the spirits submit to you. Rejoice rather that your names are written in heaven. It was then that filled with joy by the Holy Spirit, he said, I bless you, Father, Lord of heaven and of earth, for hiding these things from the learned and the clever and revealing them to mere children. Yes, Father, for that is what it pleased you to do. Everything has been entrusted to me by my father and no one knows and no one who knows the son except the father and who the father is except the son and those to whom the son chooses to reveal him. Then turning to his disciples he spoke to them in private. Happy the eyes that see what you see for I tell you that many prophets and kings wanted to see what you see I never saw it to hear what you hear and never heard it. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. My dear brothers and sisters, if we could divide our reflection today into two parts, I'd like to see how the first part of the Gospel is the disciples returning back to their master after a well accomplished mission. They were rejoicing, they were happy, they were so filled with joy because their mission was successful. They were able to cure diseases, they were able to bring healing upon people. Most importantly, they said even the devils were submitting to us when we used your name. This is the powerful name of Jesus in which the disciples worked wonders. 
Those wonders continue to be worked today, my dear brothers and sisters. Each time, in faith, we use the name of Jesus. We must admit for a fact, nothing we really do on this earth is without the invocation and the intervention of Jesus himself. And therefore, we have to thank God for the gift of his son, Jesus, to us, who continues to work wonders in our lives. But he goes on to tell them, don't just rejoice at the great things you do on earth. Rejoice ever more and even more because your names will be written in heaven. That is the ultimate goal for each one of us, my dear brothers and sisters. Not just to be successful as far as the works of the Lord are concerned here on earth, but to be the privileged ones to have our names written in heaven. This is the invitation the Lord extends to each of us. The choice is entirely ours to accept it or not. The second part of our reflection today is the great joy that these disciples had not only in listening to Jesus, but on acting on every word that he spoke. And he goes on to say how happy indeed you are, because you had this opportunity to have eyes that see what you see. And there were prophets who came before that, who never had that opportunity to see what they saw or to hear what they heard. I believe Jesus continues to make his presence felt in our midst even today. His spoken words through the scriptures, he continues to act through so many people, he continues to be in our midst. Hopefully we will not lose that opportunity of encountering Christ. I offer to him Abba Father. my dear brothers and sisters that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord, Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name for our good and good for this holy church. We offer you the sacrifice of praise O Lord as we rejoice in commemorating the mother of your son. Grant we pray that through this most holy exchange we may advance towards eternal redemption through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, to praise your mighty deeds in the exaltation of all the saints. And especially as we celebrate the memory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, to proclaim your kindness as we echo her thankful hymn of praise. For truly even to earth's ends you have done great things and extended your abundant mercy from age to age. When you looked on the lowliness of your handmaid, you gave us through her the author of our salvation, your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Through him the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim.
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Mystery of faith, save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring out of the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Oswald, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. And with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Saviour's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the, for the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your Church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. 
Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. An act of spiritual communion. O Lord Jesus, since I cannot now receive you in your sacramental presence, I beg you to come spiritually into my soul to enrich me with your holy grace and make me truly your own forever. O Jesus, living in Mary, come and live in me in the spirit of your holiness, in the fullness of your power, in the communion of your mysteries, in the perfection of your ways. O Divine Guest, give to my soul a strong, lively faith, an unbounded trust, perfect humility, an abiding sorrow for my sins, a total abandonment to your Divine Will, and a perfect loving union with you in mind and heart. O Sacrament Most Holy, O Sacrament Divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. Lord Jesus, thank you for the blessings and graces you have given me through this spiritual communion. A communion hymn, his name is higher. His name is Let us pray. Renewed with this heavenly food, we humbly implore you, Lord, that having received your Son, born of the tender virgin, under sacramental signs, we may profess him in words and hold fast to him in deeds, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Prayer for relief from the coronavirus. Almighty and merciful God, who show your love to all creation everywhere, hear graciously the prayers we make for all those affected by the coronavirus in various parts of the world. We come before you asking for a quick control of the outbreak, for a healing of those affected, for the victims and their families. We pray for the doctors doing research that an effective vaccine to combat the sickness is speedily found. We pray for the government and health authorities 
that they take appropriate steps for the good of the people we make this prayer through christ our lord amen The Lord be with you and with your spirit. I may the peace and blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit descend upon you and remain with you forever and ever. Amen. Go and announce the gospel of the Lord. Thanks, thanks be to the Lord. Our recessional hymn, Give Thanks. Give thanks to the grateful heart. Give thanks to the Because He's given Jesus Christ His Son, and now let the weak say I am strong. Let the poor say I am rich. Because of what the Lord has done for us, and now let the weak say. Yeah.